Hi everyone, I'm Chris. Welcome to Common Beats. I wanted to share two Ableton Live hacks with you that are going to make a massive difference. Uh, one is a shortcut and two is a Max for Life device if you have Ableton Live Suite. So let's get straight into it. Now, I don't know about you, but when you are producing, and this is a track that we made, uh, started to make live on stream on Monday. I, I live stream every Monday evening, eight o'clock GMT. Um, but making hip hop, sort of lo-fi hip hop, chill hop, study type beats, and just going through the whole process and journey together as I start out as well. And so, uh, say for example, I wanted to uh, do some work in MIDI on this uh, channel that I've got. Uh, what you usually have to do is sort of find this flipping thing here, there we go, drag it up and then start to do some work on it and then you go, oh, I want to be on another channel there, so then you need to drag it back down again and switch. Guys, I'm here to change your flipping Ableton experience. Um, <laughs> I get way too excited about the shortcut, I do need to reassess my life. But all you need to do is say like we, we've, we were doing that again, we want, we want this, we want to do some work on it, so look, we, rather than doing all that stuff, we, we're going to drag it up even to the top and then we're going to press shift tab shift tab look at that how amazing is that shift tab so i can do some work in here get rid of that little cheeky note that's not supposed to be there and go okay next how are we going to go next okay hammond organ great look we're already there we're already there do some work on that and then shift tab and it works with audio as well shift tab so as you can see absolute game changer when it comes to speed and workflow uh, the second thing is this something called shortcut buddy uh, I don't know the developer, I paid for this with my very own hard-earned pennies. Uh, and so uh, I just want to highlight, yeah, things that make a difference. And so you can see here, you can map different VSTs or uh, audio effects or instrument racks to um, different keys on your keyboard. And so the way that I've currently got it at the moment is this. So say on the Rhodes track here, I want a utility. So rather than going up to like, you'd have to go audio effects, utility, utility, like put it on there and then you go, okay, actually I need an EQ as well. So, uh, oh, EQ, like all that nonsense. All you do is I want a utility, I press one. Uh, okay, I want an EQ because I want to be able to take some of those uh, lows out. Um, there we go, great, wonderful. Three is my sidechain compressor. So I go, okay, I want this to be sidechain to the kick. So go, uh, if I could see from a microphone. Uh, and then, great, let's whack that, let's whack that down. Uh, and then great auto filter. That's a really important thing within lo-fi hip hop stuff, taking some of those high end off. And can you see already just speeding up the workflow rather than having to mess around with menus and clicking stuff and things like that. So shift tab game changer. And if you have uh, Ableton Live uh, Suite, uh, Max for Life device, I think it's $12. So about nine quid or something in the UK, uh, worth every single penny and uh, yeah. Hope that helps. Uh, God bless. Love Thy Producer. And until next time, nice one. <laughs>